Hi everyone. Okay, so 1 p.m. Your uh, little tips today for you, for you and your business. So, um, how are you showing up for your audience? We're going to focus on this today. I'm going to give you two tips um, to enable you to just remind yourself of how effective um you can be um, by changing these two things and just looking at these two things that i'm going to mention today how how is engagement um going for you um, um on social media with your audience is it going okay how's it going for you let me know um in the chat uh whether you're struggling to get engagement um and what do you think is going on for you? Uh, what do you need? How, what what do you need to change? Um, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Just two things that I want you to focus on um, and get you thinking about how you're showing up for your audience, your followers, your customers, your potential customers, the people that are going to buy from you. So if you didn't know me already, and this is the first time you see, you see me, my name's Adele Booth. I help businesses. I'm a coach. Um, I can show you how to use social media to attract the right customers to you, to get more results for you. So today, um, the tips are around how you can engage more effectively uh, with your following an audience um, and, you know, just looking at these two tips. So I'm going to go straight into it. So uh, the first tip is your appearance, all right? How are you presenting in front of your audience? Um, and uh, does it, this opens up a little bit of a, um, a dialogue really with you that I want you to start thinking about this and looking about how you're showing up. And I don't mean just your, yes, if physical appearance is, is um, um important especially how you're feeling um and in this time of crisis of course i keep going referring to this time of crisis uh, because our emotions um are um full on right now for many of us um this can affect how we present and how we come across um and also how what we are posting on other other areas of social media we're all interacting in different ways and, and engaging more on social media so i want this is part of the appearance all right how are you presenting on those different platforms um and it's okay to show your emotion but whatever you are posting people are still watching you and getting a picture of um of you um, and if you know it's, it's a great time to engage in various um, groups out there but you know you are appearing as you yeah um, and you are your brand so just watch how you're interacting with people what you're saying um, show up with confidence and authority um, and always think about the message that the, that person is going to get from you, right? Wherever you are communicating on social media, so it's just not about the physical appearance and and how you're feeling. That that that, that is important too, uh, because you're not going to be able to get you know a, communicate your messages effectively uh, with someone, and you want to be that confident authority leader out there. That's, uh, and not not not. You know, um, I want you to be you and real because you can't, you know, there's no point in faking, faking you. You need to stay authentic and true to you. And it's OK to show your um, anxieties and concerns and cry and show that vulnerability. That's very important to, stay, you know, resonate with people in that way. People do resonate with you and people will have different op um, opinions and uh, and that we, we can't stop that from happening. But always stay true to you and ensure that you are showing up for your business um, in the best way possible as the best person that you want to show up for your business because um, you're always promoting you um, and, and you are your brand okay so um, uh, that, I think that's very important really um, where you know where where the spy you know the where we're, we're going out there and showing up to and, and what we're offering in those in those terms um, so <clears throat> number two is 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 posting so are you being i keep saying this are you being consistent with your posting and what are you posting are you being on point yeah to what you do and what you offer people are you sticking to posting um to um target your target market yeah those people that really want what you've got keep it narrow and to your niche and keep it relevant and keep it consistent 
yeah um and and um don't mix up your page with with different things make sure that it's relevant to to your target market keep your personal profile different and, and or start a new group if you've got a new product use that group for that particular product um <clears throat> so think about on your posting every time you post what is somebody going to get from that post? What are they taking away with them to help them? Because this is what you're doing. You're helping, um, you're, you're caring and you're serving someone. What are they getting um, from you? Uh, that's what I'm going to remind you of today. All right. You, you can see that there's a lot of interaction on social media and how it's changing. People are coming more online. Make sure that it is relevant um, and make use of it too. be be more creative and um, on there so that you're kind of raising your profile to within um, and it's going to get more crowded and, and that. But keep it niche. Keep it niche. OK, so that's the two things today is, your, you know, one is your appearance and two, um, your postings. All right. Keep it consistent. Make sure that you're consistently posting out there, um, particularly on your news feed. You want to put a gap of four hours between your posts. Why? Because um, it's too much for the algorithms to um, then send it out to the relevant people. If you put in back to back posts on your particular news profile um, stories is different your profile um, you'll get less reach if you clutter it up you know every, every single you know 10 minute every 10 minutes you're posting or every one hour you're posting make sure you post one post and there's four hour gap between the next post otherwise you're, you're going to get less reach because the algorithms can't cope with it so they um yeah as they trawl through all the words that you're using, uh, whether you're vocalizing that or whatever you've written, and the bots are then sending out to the re you know, relevant people that are going to benefit from that. OK, that's to get your organic reach. So it needs time to do that. And then, you know, if it's doing that and you put another post on, it is, is you know, it's trying to do that again for another one and then another one. You know, you're not giving it chance. So ensure that that four hour gap is between your posts on stories. It's a little bit different. Um, it can accept because they're, they're shorter amounts of time, too. And um, it's, it's it's set up differently. So um, you can post a little bit more frequently on stories and please test them. Look at the data behind that and see whether that is true for you. OK, and um, test that four hour gap. OK, so but make sure that you are posting, you're making sure that you are keeping your post to your niche and your target market and what they're getting out of it and show up consistently as you. Yes, be vulnerable. Um, uh, but make sure that wherever you are showing up on social media, you are being that leader and authority and confident in what you're sharing and you're helping others. OK, I hope that's been useful today and um, ensure you put it into action here yeah, that you are responsible for you and uh, to be the better person and and show that leadership um, for your business. Um, but, and, and people are watching you wherever and they will build a picture up of you, whether they like you. Yeah. Um, and if they start to like you, then they'll get to know what you, you know, who you are, what you do, um, where, however you're showing up. And um, that's OK. And then uh, they get to trust you, don't they? And buy from you. OK, so that's what it's all about. Getting better results for you. Uh, wishing you well. And I shall see you a little bit later. 6 p.m. UK. OK, take care now. Bye.